All right, warriors, welcome back. Before we get started, let's do a breathing exercise. It's going to take five seconds. We're going to breathe in deep, hold it, release together, provide ourselves a loop interrupter. Not to totally suppress emotion or feelings, but they have their place. The thing is, narcissists know that if they can catch you and or build up a sense of duress, anxiety, and pressure, chances are you're going to give in. So reverse narcology is to put the power back where it belongs. You see, by pressuring you, putting anxiety, narcissists are able to eliminate your discernment and your gut feeling. The triangulation works because they have others come in and build up that fear of missing out. That excitement is built up on purpose before the approach came in to get you to buy into it. And chances are, you're the scapegoat or the one paying for it all. See, the way narcissists operate, the harem closet, is someone to provide stability, another to provide the animal behind closed doors, and a third one to pay for it all. And they will get away with it so long as none of the three meet each other. If you feel alone when you're surrounded by many, then chances are you're surrounded by fakeness, the eye rolling, the fake hugs, and the shit-eating grins as they perform for each other with all the fakeness in the world. It's like you got caught up in Hotel California and you got in so deep you almost feel like you can't get out. Five seconds getting realigned opens your eyes into this awareness. You've always had a key. It's in your pocket. You can walk out that front door. You just got to get to a point where you're exhausted respecting disrespect. Five seconds, warriors. Let's take a badass walk on the beach. Let's do a deep breathing exercise here. Let's set aside what happened yesterday. Now let's plan today and use our experience to be that much more ahead, not by a day, by 10 days. Let's talk about what it is you've observed, gone through, and how we can use this to better serve us. Reverse narcology. Let's do this. Five seconds. Come on. Release slowly. <laughs> All right. Shake that off. Shake it off. Check this out. Some of y'all have been following people that are fantastic motivational speakers and seem to give the appearance and operating like someone doing great works. 
many of us get caught up in following some of these people and then later learn they've gotten, they, they get dethroned publicly. Shameful activities that they've been doing in the shadows. And then there are going to be some with such boastful confidence that they'll tell you, I'm going to heaven. Exaggerating their walk as it being in alignment with divinity. Whether it's a spiritual narcissist, the holy roller narcissist, warriors, grab your Bible, go to the book of Matthew, chapter 7, we're going to read verse 21 through 23. You shouldn't be surprised that these false prophets would be roaming the earth and many of you even defend them. But but what they say is is is, is gospel, is, is truth. It's it's so motivating, inspirational. Matthew chapter seven, verse twenty one through twenty three. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Boastful confidence, I'm going to heaven. This has got to be the most profound statement written in the red words. God breathed. Verse 23 says, Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. That's infinite judgment, consequence. You see, warriors, there are going to be many pretending imposters, reptilians, even on the pulpit. What makes you think that narcissists aren't going to church? aren't going to synagogues, aren't going to different places of sanctuary for worship. Warriors, we've been warned. Another thing to look at is this. You can't plead ignorance and not knowing what toxicity is and not knowing how toxicity is to be handled. Yeshua Himself spoke these truths. If you don't think Yeshua didn't go supernova, who you think turned them tables over at the temples? Lost his cool. Had enough. There's going to be many in desperation, sw just swooning in, whispering sweet words of nothing into your ear. Acting like they're going to prophesy. Acting like they're going to heal you. Acting like they're going to serve up some miracles in the name of Yeshua. And many will be misled, chasing the wrong butterfly feelings. Because you knew for a fact their actions weren't in harmony. Some of them is so theatrical that in itself is more embarrassing. Warriors, ignorance and not doing your due diligence in researching the truth and using discernment when getting advice or consulting 
with others, knowing that they're in alignment with truth. There'd be no excuse. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11 says, In order that Satan might not outwit us, for we are not unaware of his schemes. What do you think we do on these channels and the many others talking about this? Narcissists are trembling. They're shook right now. Because our war cry of truth exposes their weaknesses. They can't reinvent themselves quick enough right now. The desperation and hard times coming, no one knows it more quickest than a narcissist. You see, they're hypervigilant. They see things, not feel them. You feel the stresses before you see them. Narcissists see things and have to act immediately on them. Because as the world turns, by the time you see it, it's too late. It's why they're always operating in damage control. Primitive mode. With this awareness, we share the secrets, secretos, about narcissism, sociopaths, psychopaths, so that we are aware and educating ourselves of the schemes of evil. It's kind of like saying, not getting caught with your pants down. Warriors, as an icebreaker, I wanted to share something with you. What is a Native American word for vegetarian? Bad hunter. <laughs> Another t-shirt idea I was thinking about, due to inflation and the cost of ammunition, I will no longer be able to afford to give a warning shot. You will immediately go from trespass to target. <laughs> Just the thought. I don't know that they'll sell. <laughs> Reverse narcology, y'all, activates the chakra. No, not yours. See, yours done activate it a long time ago. And if it reached your crown, your love has boundaries. Your trust has boundaries. It's not so freely given. It has conditions. Reciprocation is now not just a fanciful word, although it's more delicious when you say it reciprocatious. Because if someone doesn't come in right with consistency and respectful cooperation, then we're going to believe what we see the first time. Can I get a what, what? You see, in your presence, you activate others' clown chakra. That clown chakra is so rattled and shook that the narcissists in front of you don't even realize, nor are they ever aware, that that bottom lip is shaking and they've been found out. They believe that they're still hiding behind the mask ever so smoothly. And you can see them standing out. It's, it's like two people sitting in an elevator and one cuts a fart. Oh, it's on like Donkey Kong. We know whose ass that come out of. But the narcissist will look at you with that Kermit look As if. Warriors. 
We don't enable incompetence. But so badass about this awareness is you now become unreadable. Narcissists know who they can pick on. I need you from going, from being a moving target to a force to be reckoned with. Always a mystery, no routines, no do-overs. And potential, that's for the education system. That's for mamas and daddies to appreciate. Warriors, we've all had time to invest in ourselves. You're not asking for standards that you aren't already living by. And that, my friends, is the bare minimum. We're done applauding for people doing what's expected of grown-ass adults. Warriors, you're here to make a statement. What have you learned from this awareness? It's time for you to come busting out that damn shell. Shake the dirt off your ass. You're numero uno. I venture to say there isn't a narcissist out there breathing, walking that would last a day in your fucking boots. And it's why when they come hoovering, when they come knocking, when they come begging, acting like they don't need you, and like they are going to apologize on your behalf, that you keep that ten and a half foot combat boot on their fucking throats. Warriors, you don't have the authority to forgive all the wretched shit that these people do to you. Narcissists aren't your problem. You can't save them from themselves. That kind of broke needs to be left to their own kind to take care of. You now know the difference, what the work means, what self-work means. You will now know the difference when someone is saying it and can't explain it. Not even a smidgen of explanations. Because the word self-work is just a buzz word. You'll know a warrior when you hear him. You'll know a warrior when you see by actions the changes and they never even have to speak of it you just see it they damn near age backwards it's like some dumbass out there with a voodoo doll and a jar was trying to make a glamour spell in reverse on you and it flipped now they get to run around looking like a baboon's ass. And you keep looking younger and younger. And your smile more authentic. Now get your ass off that couch. Go make a statement. One life at a time. Let's make it a challenge today. Adopt a lifestyle change. If you got nothing good to say, don't say it at all. No is a complete sentence. And today, today, look at me. Right now, right now.
you're going to own it. Speak of the victories. Thanks for your support. It's never goodbye, warriors. It's always until next time. Only the narcissists deserve the honor of the coveted forever goodbye. Namaste, warriors. Um, oh, and I've been counting down.